Hello guys, Monica here. Welcome to another video. Today, I would like to share with you eight facts about LSE education that either surprised me or it took me a while before I even figured them out. So hopefully, thanks to this video, you won't be like me and you will be aware of those. Just a little disclaimer at the beginning, I will be talking about the master's degree program and mostly in the context of my department and program, which is department of management and program human resources and organizations. And that leads me to the first fact, which is that every LSE department and its programs are really different from one another. So each department program has its own rules for accepting students, for assessments, exams, dissertations, and all those stuffs. So if you have some friend at LSE, but he or she is studying different program that you want to study, be aware of that. Second fact, the year at LSE is divided into three terms and each of those terms has its specific name. The first term, the autumn one, is called the Michaelmas term. Then we have the spring term, which is called Lent term. And then the last term is conveniently called summer term. Third fact, number of courses. During my whole master's program, I will have only six courses in total. Which for me was at the beginning kind of a shock because in the country where I am coming from, in the Czech Republic, when you're studying a master's degree, you have many more courses. But I can assure you that those six courses at LSE are really enough because they are so broad and intense and so full packed of so many information that, yeah, they're enough. <laughs> The learning system of each course is divided into weekly lectures and seminars. And the logic behind this is that in the beginning of the week, professors will introduce you into the week's topic. And in the end of the week, you will discuss that topic in the seminar. So like the seminars are the place where you can have a Q&A with the professors, you can discuss the topic uh, with your classmates and professors, and also you discuss the readings about the topic. Which leads me to the fifth fact, which are readings. You will have so many readings during your year at LSE, so be prepared for that. I was certainly not, but when I came here, I was actually told that it's kind of normal in UK educational system to have that many readings because professors just really want you to engage with those topics on your own. And I can assure you that those readings really do this job. But yeah, like of course, so many of those readings are boring and really long, but in the same time, you will find many of them that are really interesting and that will really help you to engage with that topic and to really figure out all those logic behind those topics. Um, so yeah, you will spend a lot of time reading during your studies, but I think that it actually pays off. Sixth fact, we have two types of assessments in courses and those types are called formatives and summatives. The formative ones are in the middle of the term and they are there for your practice. So it is really helpful, especially if you have never came across LSC kind of essay or any essay in general, then you will write that formative and professors will give you a feedback on your work. Those formatives are not graded, so it is there really only for you to help you to achieve the best grade possible during your summatives, which are the assessments at the end of the term, which are graded and they're like your final assessments. Seventh fact, many exams at LSE are essay-based exams, which basically means that in a few hours that you have available, you need to write the whole essay with all those aspects that the right essay should have. If you are writing this kind of exam in person, then it is a closed book, which means that you need to have all those information, references and stuff uh, in your heads. But if you are writing this kind of exam online, then it is open book, so you can search for the information that you need. In fact, and the final one is that we actually have the whole summer term 
the final term for writing our dissertation. So there are no more courses, no more distractions, and we can focus only on our dissertations. However, if we want to collaborate on our dissertations with our supervisors, we already need to think about the dissertations before the summer term because we can actually approach our supervisors only until June and then it is only our own battle. Okay guys, so those are all facts that I wanted to share. If some of those surprised you or maybe you had your own surprises when you came to LSE, feel free to share them with us in the comments. And that is everything and I will see you very soon at the next video. Bye! <laughs>